All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich. Saturday evening business. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in, wipe your feet on the rug, throw some smoke in the atmosphere. This evening's show is sponsored by Pink Kush. Let's get right into it. This next story coming out of the Daily News by Noah Goldberg. Salute to you, sir. Colombo mob conciliatory fugitive surrenders in New York City. The Colombo conciliatory who ducked arrest by dipping down to Florida on the eve of a massive mob family takedown surrenders to authorities, a law enforcement told the Daily News Friday. Ralph DiMatteo, 66, was indicted along with 13 other members of the crime family on Tuesday, but was in the wind in Florida and refused to turn himself in after talks between prosecutors and his lawyers broke down, sources said. He was ordered held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, but his lawyer, Matthew Mary plans to file a bail application after speaking to DiMatteo's family. On Wednesday, DiMatteo's son, Angelo, posted a picture on Twitter of his shirtless, heavyset father casually hanging poolside, though it was not clear where or when the photo was taken. Angelo also posted a rat emoji suggesting someone in the Colombo family may have been a disgraciate. But after his brief taste of illicit post-indictment freedom, DiMatteo scooted back up the East Coast and turned himself into the FBI at Federal Plaza in Manhattan, a source told the news. Known as number three by other Colombo clan members and deference to his rank in the family, DiMatteo was slapped with charges of racketeering, extortion, and money laundering, along with 87-year-old boss Andrew Mush Russo. The conciliatory was also charged with conspiracy to steal and embezzle health benefit funds, attempted health care fraud, and other crimes. The Matty, along with other high-ranking members of the Columbos, were accused of infiltrating a union that the family extorted, prosecutors said. One member of the family, Vincent Riccardio, threatened a high-ranking local union official into paying money from his annual salary to the Columbos, which he did for the better part of 20 years, the feds claim. The Matty Mario was directly responsible for overseeing Riccardio, prosecutors say. It's not DiMatteo's first time on the wrong side of the law. He was convicted to conspiracy to distribute heroin and drug trafficking in 1985 in Brooklyn and sentenced to eight years in prison. And in 2001, he was convicted of conspiracy to commit money laundering and received another 18 months in the pen. Quote, the wiretap interceptions also showed the command he had over low-ranking crime family members members, including summoning them immediately to meetings at Russo's home or to report to Brooklyn, a reference to meet at a garage in Gravesend. Prosecutors wrote in a motion to have DiMatteo detained pre-trial. The conciliatory pled non-guilty to all charges Friday afternoon in Brooklyn Federal Court in front of Magistrate Judge Taryn Merkel. So first of all, salute to Noah Goldberg from the Daily News. If there was a rat, I wonder who it is Disgraciate. Good luck to all of these gentlemen. Again, all these charges are alleged. They have to prove everything. But again, also, wiretaps, wiretaps, wiretaps. Stay off the cell phone. Big Rich, Queens, New York City. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know what city you're smoking in. And we will talk soon. Salute.